It is now time to ride once more, my friends, for one last time to end the scourge of the Vlandians for the Empire in a glorious victory. Ave Sola. It's always proper to begin your day with a siege battle. It's really what you need for a balanced ruler's breakfast. So right now, we're charging into the city of Taras. I've got my four fire onagers. I've got two siege towers and one battering ram. I didn't want to try to exchange a bunch of artillery fire for who knows how long. They already got rid of my darn battering ram and holy crap, we just killed a lot of them. Good work. Oh, I can only hope that we're going to score a lot of hits because right now I have no battering ram. But as you can tell, we're going to kill maybe a few dozen or more of their men just from my onagers. That's really good. I'm going to charge in later when it's time for me to do so, but as of right now, there's no easy avenue for me to get inside. I have not had a lot of luck trying to weasel my way in. I've been trying to climb up ladders or siege towers or whatever, just trying to get to the front gate, but there's just been way too many. Oh good, they do lose a few defensive emplacements. Let's break down some parapets, let's break down some towers. All of it has got to be destroyed. Oh, that one guy. Screw that one guy in particular. It's actually fun. One person wanted to really see what it looked like whenever my artillery would hit them. So, I'm doing it for you. I want you to see it because it is a lot of fun. Trust me, I could sit here for the entire game just watching all of my artillery destroy them. And now I'm learning how much can be destroyed by artillery. I was never quite sure because I wasn't directly watching. So right now, they're going to be overwhelmed. Outside of some mercenaries, my entire army is Imperial. That is intentional. I want to be sure that when we win our war, it's with only Imperial blood. Imagine if I used all Batanians, they would say, and it's with our blood that he was able to forge an empire. No, screw that. With only Imperial blood, were we able to forge an empire. And I did spend thousands of my influence in order to raise clan relations. Every clan should now like me. Now, whenever you have to vote for someone to take land, other clans will dislike you. And if you've got to do it a lot, it's going to happen a lot. It was really only a few clans who were pretty angry with me because they kept coming up for a vote, which is why I do hope that system does change. Because I want to give lands to other people too, but it kept choosing the same lords over and over and over. Look at how many are dead already, though. There are so few left on the walls, at least over here. Up here... I mean, they were wiped out. There's a lot on this end. I wish the Onagers, yeah, would do that. But maybe get more kills. Alright, it's about time for me to charge in. I think it's time. Now that we're here, I'm hoping that we can actually get a few kills. Right now, it does seem like my units are having a pretty tough time. I'm going to try to get them out there if I can. Just all of you, start to move in. You know what to do. Now, if I can open that front gate. Oh, there's my daughter. She's getting kills just standing here. Lysica, you are incredible. You are your mother's daughter, and I love it. All right, I'm going to help you. Wait, hold on. Don't you try to hit her. I swear, I will make all of you bleed. Hold on, I want to hit this guy over here. And him, too. Hold on, we've got maybe another one to kill. Perfect. Yeah, my children are just getting kills. You know what? If you want to play this game, I'll play this game right now with you. If you just want to stand there and annoy me, I'll make sure all of you die. I don't go open the front gate. I've never gotten to really do this, so I'm going to do it right now. I'm guessing there's been some issue with pathfinding because my own soldiers are not getting up there. And I need to carve a way out, so I'm going to try to. Look at my little daughter. She's adorable. My little killer. And I'm just reaping. Don't worry, just watch dad work. It's all good. I'm not getting hurt. They are, though. However, they are. Just reaching down there. Did I kill three that time? If so, amazing. All right, let's go over here now. If you guys just want to stand there, I need to try to carve a way out, though. I'm trying to carve a way so I can actually get down and open the front gate so that we can finish the battle. But right now... It's going to take some time in order for us to do that. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a bit of a placement problem with the siege tower itself. 
So I do apologize. There's nothing that I can do about it other than just try to make the best of it and end a siege battle. We have many more to come. So, you know, every siege battle is not like the one you're looking at right now. And that allowed me to get a lot of kills that I normally do not get. So I'm going to move as quickly as I can to get down here. Because again, I just want to open the front gate. All right, I'm going to bring out the sword. You don't know who's going to come at me. That felt really good, though, just to get a few cathartic swings off. Hey, look, it's me. Is that me? Yeah, that's just me killing a lot of people. All right, they're already drawing fan art of me in the game. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I've killed 41 now. That is amazing. 41 people died. And my daughter got quite a few kills. She's like, take that. Screw you. My father said you're a dog. I told my daughter, you're not actually killing people. You're killing Vlandians. All right, let's open a gate. Hey. Oh, damn that wall. Oh, challenging me, I see. Don't close that gate on me. I mean, I'll just break it down if you, if you do that, but there we go. Ooh, Pathfinding got a little bit goofy once I did that. Let's get everyone to charge in, I think. That might help out. Because I know it can get a little bit goofy whenever there's like a new pathway. I'm going to wait for that to clear up, I think. Fortunately, there's not a lot left. My daughter just got another kill. She's beating the boys big time. What type of monster did I raise? And how did I get so lucky? Not even my companions do so... Oh, ah ha and here I was, taking very little damage until now. But performance is down big time, so it'll be very hard for me to win any type of fight like that. So I might just have to let them do their part. I'm going to go check on their kills after the battle's done. But it's about to be done. Oh yeah, it's already over. They've won. Let's just have a look real quick. So I've killed 41. Let's see, Ragnar killed 5. Ayam killed 1. Tatik 2. How to find my children. I know they're out there somewhere. All right, Augustus, you've killed two. Aurelius, no kills. Lysica, nine kills. She killed nine people in her first real battle. I mean, she fought her grandmother, but who doesn't? Who doesn't fight their grandmother? <laughs> okay, there's only so many that I want to have joined me. But they've got to be Imperial, like you. You're Imperial. I'm going to be very careful here. I don't want any type of trash in my party. All right, so we got those. Who was knocked out? Yonara? That's unfortunate. Okay, let's promote who we have. I've got a lot of trained men. A lot of legionaries at that. Nearly 200. That's what happens whenever you focus on training a lot. I'm actually getting a few horse archers just for the hell of it. Might as well try some variety at the very end of it all, right? Okay. There we go. We'll take that as well. And here's a watchman. Nope, a horseman, you mean. All right, let's see. I'll recruit a few later. That's plenty of wounded. And now I own a new town. Good for me. It is mine. So we're going to wait here for a little while. I'm going to patch up. Right, I was going to show you my kid. Here's one of my boys here, and they're all pretty much the same. They got the same amount of points, and I was able to allocate a few points as well. Now, I know for the mod I'm using to kind of increase, or not increase, but reduce the age required for them to come to combat, there was a bug to where they couldn't save their perks, so that did cause a few issues, but hopefully it's been fixed. Anyway, yeah, look at that. He's a tough kid. He knows how to fight. Later, I'll teach him on how to be a better leader. That will come in time. But for now, let's move on. We've got more fighting to do. A lot more fighting to do. Only a few of my men are wounded. Okay, Sargot. Maybe I'll come to take you finally. Oh, look who it is over here. Interesting. I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Sure, bring in whatever men you need. In fact, rally the realm if you want. I want you to because I'm about to come kill you. Now, before I go do that, let's have a look over here at who I can upgrade. Got a few people who want to come join me. I'll hire mercenaries, but only mercenaries. Aside from that, I will only hire Imperials. So Imperials and mercenaries, but no Batanians, no Vlandians, none of them. Oh, I'm over my limit. Well, we're about to fight a battle. Let's go track them down. It shouldn't take but a moment. Oh, come on. I'm right by you, pal. 
Perfect. Okay. Let's have a look over here. Philonora. Ah. Look at who I'm about to kill. Very, very good. Husband and wife. He's way too old. You've been here for too long, Dirt Hurt. Dirt Hurt. So after I kill you, let's have a look. Who's going to lead your dirty clan? Ah, your only child left. If she wants to live, she's allowed to live. Sure, she's helpful. She could become a puppet queen, a puppet baroness. Anyway, it is now time for a battle. Let's go in and end his plight once and for all. There's going to be fear in his eyes today. Look at all of my cataphracts, all of my legionaries. What an awesome sight. Loose formation. Now for you, a shield wall. But I want you to form up a smaller shield wall than usual. So, here we go. Make it dense. Horse archers. I'll move you out later. Over 100 horsemen. Now that is a lot of horsemen. Alright. Let's have a look. I believe they are advancing. It is still a large army, so do I need to be mindful? Or do I need to be careful? Sure. Have a look up here real quick and find out what they're doing. Oh, I'm ready to kill him. It's been a very long time coming. There they are. Here they come. Every one of them. They've got two groups of horsemen total. Interesting. Archers! You know what? I want you guys to move up just a little bit. Right there. Actually, no further because we do have a good hill on the right flank that could keep them from being able to hit our flank Footman! i like that so Forward! anyway Cavalry! horsemen Forward! go away Forward! archers you know how to kill let's make it happen come on Bowman! what are you doing here fire i should be seeing more shots out there but right now i do not all right, we'll wait for them to press that hill, then I'm sure we'll see more activity. Yep, there we go. All right, time to bring in a few of them. If you want to advance, you can. I'm killing a few recruits. Let's send in my horsemen. Oh my god. Already. You can see how many are just getting slaughtered right now. All right, go into a line formation and advance. If they want to come at us right here, they can come at us right here. Darn it, I hit a shield. I was hoping to kill one of them. Just outright. But my men have it all under control. I just saw my wife get a kill. That makes me a happy, happy man. Ooh, another blasted sergeant. Yeah, those guys are tough. It's a quick one. It's always been a quick one, I think. I got a Blandy and Vanguard another dead enemy who are you you shouldn't be here are you fighting in a foreign yeah you are you're fighting in a foreign engagement you didn't even have to die here but here you came to die anyway it's really not a battle about me it's about my men usually I like to go around wrecking faces and getting kills but what's really shocking to me is how we finally got to fight him again yet he was really nothing to us at all I lost what six men total 19 wounded. We're still chasing them down. That's pretty awesome. Horsemen, after, me. after me. Come on. Let's go. We finally got their king. Maybe he'll get away. I don't really know. There's my daughter. She's adorable. I need to see my boys, too. But check it out. We can just go around doing whatever we want now. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's all cheer. It's really cool to just have all of my men riding behind me. I think in our next battle, I'm going to try to lead them myself. We'll just all charge in like that. I'm going to have them follow me, then at the last moment, I'll have them charge. Okay, I've beaten every king. Now to face the gods. Let's get out of here. Prindor, you are at my mercy. Come on. You can come visit me. Hakan, you as well. Who else are we going to kill? Eleonora? Sure. And the king. Interesting. So I got you. 
plenty of prisoners I do not want. I only have so much room. Do you have any Imperials at all? Do you, though? I'm looking one more time. I'm just giving a quick glance so I could miss one or two. But from what I can tell, that was a Vlandian army. No wonder it was so weak. All right, let's upgrade our own soldiers. We've got plenty to upgrade right now. Perfect, perfect. Might get a few more horse archers later. I wasn't going to, but hell, let's have a bit of fun, huh? Okay, another horseman, another cataphract. Do you like my cataphracts a lot? And I'll hire a few of these mercenaries. Yeah, come on over, mercenary guard. I'll let a few of you join me. Hired blades, hired crossbows. Okay. I'm over my troop limit. Shoot. Okay. Hold on. Let me get rid of a few watchmen. I like my peasants more because they're imperial. But of course, me, they do turn into watchmen. Shoot. I was actually hoping that. Ah, forget about it. Hold on. I'm going to bring them back. I was actually hoping they would turn into my own cultures, soldiers, but evidently not. So never mind. I'll get rid of a few of you. You may leave me. And I'll take all the loot. I know there's like one mod that turns them over into your own culture's troops or at least like bandits or something, which is really neat, but I haven't tried it out yet. Okay, Bill Nora. Goodbye. She gets to die. All right, Prindor, what are you all about? Ah, you're all alone. One more clan destroyed. And Hakan. You know what? I'll capture you. And for you, King. Hmm. What will I do with you? You know he's very old and tired. Let's have a look again. He's only got one daughter left. Only one daughter left. Hmm. And you are 65. Most of your friends are dead. I've killed quite a few. Not Ungar. I would like to kill Ungar, though. Okay, so he's not too far from me anyway. He's very young, too. You know what? You may go. I'll meet you again later. You may go. I don't need to capture you. But I do want to capture your towns. But what about Sargods? Let's go back to Sargods. Yeah, I don't want to have too many troops right now. I just want to capture each location slowly. Oh, it's under attack. Well, I've got to guarantee that there is a victory today. Over 800 men. Spicy. Now, I need to buy some food. I'll have to go run into a caravan later and try to get some food. All right. Am I going to help? No. I know what happens whenever I get my men to go fight for someone else. It doesn't go very well. I mean, look at their losses already. That is incredible. Are they going to win that battle? I'm also giving my men their own opportunity to rest up. It's only one town battle. Now, to be quite fair to them, I tried to take this damn town, but I had to fight three major field battles. Three. That was a lot. They had hundreds each and every time. We're going to leave that town now and try to find another location to conquer. We've got a few more to go after. That's why I didn't want to get rid of their king yet. I wanted him to stay and watch. He needs to understand what happens. In fact, I mean, maybe I could even imprison him forever. That would also work out. Many of their people have been captured. There are very few left who could stop me. I'm kidding. There's no one left who could stop me. So what are we going to do? Provend. Ah, the final location. But for now, let's go after a hall up north. It's currently autumn. We're about to reach winter. What an interesting location, too. I like it a lot. Okay. It is time for me to besiege. They have 749 men defending. Over 600 militiamen. Now, that does mean... I need to build up all of my artillery. Afterwards, I will need to go get food. These battles are challenging. They are hard because of how many men they have. And I've got to try... Now... Oh, hold on. They only have ballista, not catapults. That's actually really good for me. Very good for me. Yeah, we're just going to build up everything and march right in. We're currently in the year 1100. 
I am so very much ready right now for all of us to conquer these lands. It'll be the end of one legend, but I know that many of you were talking about how cool it would be to have a type of Solon mod. Oh, how cool would that be? I mean, we would just have like this post Solon empire that's having a few issues, which could be compared to like the current status of the game here. Oh shoot, I didn't actually want you to destroy anything. Only because I don't want them to build up anything more than a ballista. And they already have floating ballista, which is already a technological feat. I'm going to put these into reserves every time. I do not need them out. Don't worry about the walls. Katilla, are you fighting? Oh, she's evidently fighting a battle. My god. Yeah, her skills are shooting up. Holy crap. No one has really tried to stop her, I suppose. Ah, uh, Ragnvad. He fought a battle, and he was released after a battle. We've got one more to build up. Then we'll go after what's left. I've got food, sure, but I don't think I have enough food to feed all of my men for as long as I would like. We wait again. We just need to build up siege towers and one battering ram, and then we'll be in the middle of a major battle for Ox Hall. <laughs> It's crazy to play Warband and to come into here and be like, oh yeah, I know where that's roughly at. Or where that's exactly at. Alright, so now we just need our battering ram. Then we just need a siege tower. You can see how much weaker they all are though because of what I've done. It's pretty scary. Alright, so we have one more to go after. Then we'll be ready. Then it'll be time. All right, let's see here. 602. A few of my boys were wounded, but they're fine now. Let's charge in. By God, they have a lot of men. Let me know if you enjoyed the beginning of siege battles, like with what I'm doing right now. Before, what I would do, I would just wait until I got to a siege tower or a ladder. But if you enjoy watching this bit, let me know. Your tactile feedback allows me to know what to put in and what to take out. Right now, I have a feeling my fire onagers are going to destroy them. Okay, we do have proper defensive barricades. Very good. They only have Ballista, and there goes a few of them. I mean, they are well exposed. Ooh, one guy has a bolt in the freaking head. They all look pretty doe-eyed and shocked about what's going on here. That one guy in the middle who was just hit, he looks pretty darn scared. He's like, why am I here? I just wanted some lentils. No beans for you. I get the beans. The beans are for my men. Let's just continue to hit them with a bunch of fire onager shot. Here comes another one. Oh. Did we break it? Alright. No tools for you. Let's break another one, kids. Let's break another one. See, my goal would be to one day practice so much to have some type of like environment where I could practice where I could just pinpoint shoot whatever I want. That would be amazing. That would allow me to disable all of their artillery then go in. Oh! Now that's really nice. There goes another group. I think they're beginning to run now. They're like, okay, you know what? I've had my fill. Hey, Ted. Oh, no. He's dead. They're getting pretty close to that damn catapult, though. Though they're not firing it, which is interesting. Okay, what about the other portions of the walls? Oh, there's plenty who are dead over here as well. There's a lot that are about to zoom over to where... Oh my god, look at how many are here, though. That's really unfortunate. Gotten a few kills, but... I think they're getting ready to rush my siege tower as usual. Okay, now... Again, my battering ram! Shoot! They keep breaking it. I wish I could build, like, a... Improved battering ram. More siege options would be good because I can't get one to the damn gate. I can't remember the last time I got to break down a damn gate. Oh, it's really cool to see that guy slumped over a siege engine. That's really neat. Yeah, they're mostly done up here, I think. Uh-oh. Performance harmed. It means that a siege tower is here. I'm going to try to make it over here if I can because I do want to help out. I want to try to open up. I think the one over here would be easier for me to get on top of. I'm actually lacking one fire catapult right now. I decided to try to destroy all of their 
blasted Ballista before I charged in, which I'm glad I did. I found out two of his Ballista were visual bugs. They were actually catapults. Catapults constantly destroy my battering ram, so I've got to get rid of them. And do let me know if you do enjoy what I've been doing lately for the beginning of a siege battle where I just let you watch and we can all watch together how my artillery is able to perform or even my ranged soldiers. Otherwise, I can go back to what I was doing before, which is zipping straight to the action whenever I climb a ladder or whenever I try to actually get to the front lines. Because right now, I need to wait. And dear God, a lot of them are dying. Now, I've got my two siege towers, and I've got, let's see, three catapults total. All fire onagers, and darn how cool is it to watch them destroy people, though? That's a lot of kills. No, I think from now on, my goal will be to at least destroy all of their artillery. Because lately, if I can't get a battering ram in, it takes me way too long to take them down. And even if I can, I lose way too many. Or if not lose, too many are wounded, which still does set me back. Now, I do wonder if you're able to break down a front gate with artillery. That's really interesting, because if you can, then I could use one learn how to aim it well, and break down a front gate without having to worry about a battering ram. Hmm. Well, for now, let's move up. Yeah, I'm gonna move right through here. Hopefully my owners will continue to break them. Who hit me? My poor mount. Leave my mount alone. I mean, already they've dealt quite a bit of damage to my battering ram. That did not take long. And they had no catapults at all. They shouldn't have any ballista, nothing. Okay, 34 wounded from me. They have many more dead and many more wounded on their end. You go, ranged units. I mean, they are destroying them. Check out those flaming missiles. I mean, you know they're getting groups of kills. Though, I would rather choose who gets to man a bunch of artillery. Like, I would let my companions do it. All right, let's go in. I'm here to help you out. Oh, there's a few of them up there. I wonder, can I hit any of them? That was not a hit. I was a little bit too low. There's one, a headshot. I hit another one, but he's not dead. Of, what? You guys are way too strong. Crazy peasant. All right, anyway, let's go in. If we break it, we'll easily be able to destroy what's left of their garrison. Trust me, there's a reason why I make siege battles look easy from time to time. It's because of how I go about making sure that it looks easy from time to time. But if I were to try to charge in with only siege towers and they had even two catapults, they could potentially get rid of all of my freaking siege towers and also my battering ram, which means how the hell am I gonna be able to do anything at all? I wouldn't be able to do anything at all. I would have to pull back. Okay, let me come back over here. The team's doing a good job. Did you turn around? They're turning around and blocking at me. Rude as hell. And here I am, just trying to put them out of their misery. It's a lot of fleeing men. Alright, let's move over here. They've broken already? You guys are a bunch of cowards. Come on. That's what happens whenever you don't have the iron will to freaking stay. That's okay. I'll just harvest what I do best. All right, overhead strikes. Nope, they're still blocking me. That's funny. That's what happens when you're on that good AI. Okay, whenever I play in 1.1, I'll certainly have to keep it up because I've heard that they're much easier in 1.1. Which, again, I'm very glad that I've played on the harder difficulty because, I mean, all it means for me is that I'll be better equipped to handle whatever's going on. Oh my god! It's a lot of dead men. See? If we didn't break down the front gate, that would just be a block of men who would be able to spread out to other sides. All right, so we're looking at how many kills now? Over 400 kills. There's very few left. The garrison has, what, 14, 13 left? The militia, they're just dying. I just did one kill. I got nine kills. More than I thought I would get. Also, climbing the walls is just really bad for me. Crossbows end up shooting me. You've seen me get knocked out so many times now because of just crossbows dealing like 40 plus damage to me. Archers don't really deal nearly as much with crossbows. Ah, ha, ha. I think it's over. We've got Ox Hall. And so we have grown in power. We gods of war. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> Alright. 
I did see one modification for Sturgium. It's meant to make it more Slavic in nature. It's very cool. But I know a lot of people are really expecting a type of Nordic playthrough for my, for my Sturgia game. For me, I think my character will be a Nord, but I will acknowledge the fact that a majority of my troops will be Slavic in inspiration. You know, just kind of meant to highlight a certain time period where you just had a bunch of Scandinavians going over to that part of the world, and that's what happened. All right, let's have a look over here. Of course, I mean, there's a lot I need to learn about it. Can't wait to talk to some people who know a lot about it so that they can teach me and I can read more because I'm very interested in any time period of history that I find out about. All right, let's go and get some more horse archers or one more horse archer. I'll promote who I can over here. We've got some more infantrymen and let's see, more archers. Just promote them all. Horsemen abound. Okay. I'm going to hire one Imperial infantryman. Two trained archers and another infantryman. Okay. We've done it. I've conquered it. It belongs to me right now. And we're going to wait here for a minute. I've got plenty of wounded. But look at that. Look at how little remains for them. There's not a lot. That's all intentional. There's not meant to be a lot. Ostakin, maybe we'll go after you. Jonkulin later. And if I need to, I'll summon up a huge army to come help me out. In fact, I could do that now. I'll need to go get some food. You know what? I'm going to go hunt for food. And then we're going to do that. We're just going to go around doing whatever we can. What a crazy location. You would easily be able to defend here. I mean, look at all the caravans traveling around. There's Ungar. Ungar. Oh, ho, ho. Ungar, hold on. I've been waiting to kill you for quite some time, Ungar. No, 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 you don't get away. You don't get to get away. Hold on. That pathfinding just changed on me out of nowhere. No, he might be able to get away. Shoot. <laughs> I was hoping that I would be able to corner him here, but evidently there's more than one way in. Shoot. I was hoping that bridge was like the main way in, but I didn't really carefully look at the general area. Let's go back over to Ox Hall. back over here a new child wow okay that's another child for me <laughs> we'll we'll keep the name I've got plenty of children you know so I'm gonna keep the name let's go over to let's see kingdoms Solon Empire there's my clan and my new child Wow that's a lot of children. My wife is doing well. Got a lot of kids, sure. Don't know how we're going to deal with that later in life, but if you wanted to like really explain a sullen empire and how it would maybe one day collapse or whatever, that could be why. I know a lot of people have had a lot of debates about how that would turn out, what that would even look like. Trust me, we're not going to do any gavel kind. No, no, we're not doing that. I know better. I've played Crusader Kings too. All right, so I've got only a few more wounded left. I'll be able to hire some of my prisoners to come join me, and that would be good. So let's go do that right now. Okay, Palatine Guards wounded. Gotcha. Take a few of you. Pick a few of you as well. I'll just, like, throw in, like, one troop or so, however many that I need to. Okay, you've got, like, a little bit of a garrison. Interesting. You can have... Let's have a look. Still over? Okay. Still over again. Perfect. Okay. And we'll wait here for right now as we continue to rest up. And I'm going to go hunt down some food. I'll go to every village I can to try to get some food. I was able to get some food and then I had to go restart my game because 1.1 is now out. And it looks like they did fix that issue where you would retroactively gain so many new skill points and all of that. It was way too much. Like if I had used the beta, I would have over 300 in my writing skill, which was not okay. I did not want to be enhanced in any way. And evidently, caravans will be attacked more. There's a bunch of other changes too. I'll have a link down below for all of you to check out. All right. So I'm over here to the north of my little castle, or not my castle, but my town. And we're going to 
besiege one more castle. Then after that, it should only be towns that we need to go after. And not too many either. Oh, come on, Saron. The Vlandians are done for. How did you get captured? And maybe I will summon up one more army. It might be time for that, you know? Okay, we've got three armies formed. Who will join me? Who do I want to join me? Come on, Myron. You know I take care of you. Freaking idiot. Okay. Have a guy? No. Milos? No. Lek? Maybe. Got to be largely Imperial. Avalitos, come on. Let's go. You've got 180. Wow. Ekerind? You... Eh, actually, you're not one of my people. You are, though. And Nikasaur. All of you will work out. Now, come on down. Let's go. Do I need them? No. Do I want them to fight with me? Sure. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she's already under attack. And she's been captured. Now I know why my caravan was doing so well. Evidently, bandits and other targets were not coming after them. Over 800 men. Very nice. Okay, actually, hold on. I'm going to cancel these real quick. And we are going to build up a few of our fire onagers. I'm going to put them into reserves. We'll bring them all out whenever we have four. I mean, it's only a castle, so I'm not too worried about it. But maybe I should be. Maybe I should always be worried about it. Anyway. How are you doing, my friend? 53. Really? You've gotten old on me. Really old. All right. Oh, she was able to get away. Well, good. I'll have to go pick her up one day. But I suppose her job is finally done. I mean, she's been leading my caravans for a long time. A very long time. 374 defenders. That is not a lot. Okay, they're building up another catapult. They can build it up to four. Yep, move it over to reserves again. And I might even build up a few trebuchets just to distract them because, I mean, they are quite hardy. So they're quite good at that. All right. There's another fire onager. We'll put it away. I was going to build up a lot of siege towers, but nah. I built up my trebuchets. I broke down all of their artillery, and now we get to charge in. It's all free for me. Ooh. Very dangerous. Okay. What an interesting area. That would be deadly to attack directly, so I'm glad I didn't try to do that. Alright, time for me to turn around. Need to watch out and make sure that I'm not going to be hit by anything too volatile. Let's go, men. Every one of you charge in today. We're going to hunt down what's left of all the Vlandians. Which isn't a lot, but it's plenty. One is too many. Alright, I'm turning back around again. Trying to avoid being hit by a bunch of enemies. Now, not every ally I have might be a pure Imperial, but once you've been fighting for me long enough, you're all Imperial. That's how it works, I think. Ooh, Sturgians, huh? I haven't fought you guys in quite some time. You're dying for the wrong leaders. Alright, they've been cut down. I'm coming in. Let's go, kids. Let's ride on in. I was hoping to build a push on through, but evidently I can't on my mount. Alright, what about on foot? Yeah, on foot I can push in. On horseback, no can do. I want to murder. You will not stop me from murdering. Alright, I'm nearly through. Can I block what I can? Perfect. Alright, let's try to move and cut. That way we can break through without being hit by any misses from behind. Because you know they love to do that to me from behind. Holy crap. That's a lot of casualties. Okay, good. So now we only have a couple of towns left. Everyone, it has been an awesome campaign. One of the best I've ever played. Probably in my life. I've had a lot of fun. It's been incredible. The storytelling has just been a very inherent part of anything that I want to do now. I mean, Sola, I will never forget about. Sola will one day have future stories, I'm sure of it. But as of right now... It's just time for him to rest up after conquering the Vlandians. I've been fighting the Vlandians for so long. I mean, they were comparable in power, if not more powerful than I was for a long, long time. That was very close to me. Very scary. Holy crap. Good hit. I don't know where that hit, but good hit. All right, let's see here. That was only a quiver. I thought some guy's arm got lopped off. That would have been sweet. 
It's a really big castle. Whoa! Hey, come on now! Can't tell if you have bad aim or maybe really good aim. Hmm. <laughs> I'm watching you guys. Ooh, nice kills. Wow. Where are they? Okay, now I think they have really good aim. 25 dead, 5 in my own party. Let's finish it up, kids. I want to get the hell out of here. Wait, can I pick these up? Cool. Alright, I want to stone someone. Who's getting stoned? Anyone over here? Darn. No, that won't work out. I don't want to hit my own men, but I do want to throw a stone. Yeah, they've got it. My battering ram is way too late. Oh well. Just wanted to stone some people. Battle's over though. We've won. Cool looking castle. I love the location for it, by the way. Very interesting. My. We've taken it. I could vaguely make out my own kills. So that was pretty cool. All right, let's see here. I'm not going to capture any of you. I will capture the mercenaries. Yeah, I'll get the mercenaries. All right, then I'm going to promote my men. I've got a lot of legionaries, man. 159 total. That is a what tier? A tier 5 unit. Okay, here's more watchmen. Let's just promote all of our horsemen. More archers for me, more cav, mercenary scouts too. Okay, there's some loot. And what else am I going to do? Well, I suppose right now I've got a castle. We're going to rest up here for a minute. I've got my army here too. And then we can head back out. Now, my mother-in-law, I need to be sure that she's not conquering anything that belongs to me. I am worried about that because she likes to do that. Oh, does she ever. Okay, so we can see castles. We appear to be okay. I'm going to go check to make sure, though. I don't trust my mother-in-law. She's a villain. All right, let's see. Southern Empire. Do you own anything at all? Don't believe you do. Nope, we're good. You've got a child? Holy crap. 35 years old, yeah. Crazy. Alright, back to me again. Over here in my castle, we've got a militia that's building up. Time to go take Ostakin. Then maybe later we can take Provin. Or actually, they're taking Provin, so maybe I'll go join them. Lek, one of our commanders, he was under attack and he was about to lose a battle. Which is really shameful, but I'm going to help him out. Don't worry about it. Infantry. Well now, what do we get to do Over. today? First off, I want all of my archers over here. But archers. because it is a smaller battle, I would like to try something different, I think. Let's have a look then. Where am I going to bring you? Yeah, I want half of you over here. Or roughly half. There we go. That's two groups of archers total. Horsemen! Horsemen. We'll take care of them later. Don't worry about it. I want you in a loose formation. Alright. Then all of my archers over here. I want you in a loose formation too. Horsemen, if you want to get them, go get them now. Don't let them just attack me. And I've got my archers on the way. They will cut them down, but you can do a job too. There's one royal guard. Okay. So how are we going to handle it? Well, first off, I want some archers over here. I want my other archers way over there. Perfect. Infantry, you'll move up. Now, you're going to form a very dense wedge formation. Because we're here to change it up a little bit, you know. Just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Other archers move over to their flank. Horsemen, go away. <laughs> You know how that goes. Just go away. Now we can shoot them a lot. I can flank them too. Yep, move up a little bit. Stop them and move up. And now they're being hit from two sides. What can they do? They can block one attack, but they're not going to block two bolt attacks. It's impossible. Alright. Just shoot away for now. And while that's going on... Advance. No, I don't want you to lance me. You don't get a mount. You don't deserve one. 
Oh man, dividing them up is great. That is a bit of work, but not too much work. I just cannot wait until I can rename all of my groups. That's what I really want to do. They're chasing me. I don't like that spear at all. <laughs> I got him. There goes an enemy lord now. Alright, so. That group can now just move up. My other group has flanked them, so now I know of a decent way to allow my men to easily destroy their foes. It's really awesome. Alright, horsemen, I want you to move up there. Archers, move over here. Other archers, let's see here. I'm going to move you about here. That should do it. That should allow you to shoot what's left. The constant stream of arrows and bolts is awesome. Now, I figured we could experiment a little bit now that I have some time to do so. Whoa. Or maybe I won't have time because they nearly knocked me out. Gotta be careful with all those spears, you know. Me careful, though? Eh. Not likely to happen. If I haven't changed by now. It's not impossible, but it's just a little bit less likely. That's another dead enemy. Oh, I really don't like any of you. I really want to kill more of you. All right. That's a great job, by the way. But we're not done yet. Move up a little bit. Other archers. Let's see, you're over there. Move up a little bit. My infantry, they'll join in. They're not going to join in yet. It's just been great to watch them completely obliterate my foes without me having to really involve myself all that much. The Royal Guardsman. Oh, saw him aiming for me. Oh, damn, that turn radius. Okay. That handling. That's an upgrade. All right, you have no actual... No, you do have a spear, do you? Nope, only a sword. Gotcha. Anyway, here's what we're going to do now. Other range units advance a little bit. We can continue to advance while the other group covers their advance. It's an awesome thing to do. Yeah, so I do know of a nice way now to kind of just really split up my units. It minimized my casualties, I'm pretty sure. They're still trying to attack me. And there's very few left. Okay, here comes my horsemen. Just follow me. It's okay. Just follow me right now. We'll ride through. Lysica, why are you so damn good at horse combat? Or just combat in general? I thought my sons would be the best, but... But then again, I did give her a one-handed weapon, so maybe that helped out. But in that one battle, she was using my own javelins I made for her to destroy them, which was awesome. All right. Look at that. A perfectly combined enemy who's unable to do much. Another dead skirmisher. Let's finish him off now. There's my wife getting a kill. She's almost 40 now. Yeah. I know that one mod I used to allow my kids to fight at 14. One part of it that I did not like was that it would rapidly age them. All I really wanted was for them to fight at 14. But aging up the normal way, I did not mind at all. But I just really thought that 14 would be more suitable. We've done it. Ungar, I finally caught you. Ooh, Ungar. The rest can go. You? Oh, no. I've been waiting to get you for quite some time. Now we can get out of here. That was a freaking execution. Nine dead, 12 wounded. Okay. Let's see here. Thor, you got no kills. I got 12. Ira, one kill. Lysa got three kills. Aurelius, one kill. Augustus, no kills for that battle. Ragnar, no kills at all. Okay. Let's see here. That was beautiful. Let's leave. These final battles have been pretty interesting. You're welcome, Lek. You're very welcome. All right, have I killed any of your people? A few, though, I suppose. I mean, you're a mercenary. Can't let you live. Oh, I only got one of them. Shoot. Okay, any Imperials here? Let's quickly have a look. Saplings, what a dumb name. I'm a sapling. I'm a little sprout boy. All right. Take up those horse archers. I don't really have a lot of them, so I'm going to try to get a few more. A bit late for that, but, you know. Okay. 
mercenary horsemen we've got over here. What else? A few I could recruit. I'll take a few of you. All right, I'll take your loot. I've got food for a bit longer. We're going over to Ostakin. I think I want Ostakin to be mine. Okay. You leveled up. I'll have to level her up in just a minute. But first off, let's go over there and get straight over to Ostakin. That should be a good one. Ah, he still got captured. That's really funny. Oh, well. I did my best. I tried. All right, so we're looking at a wall level of three. They have no food stocks at all. Guys, don't leave the damn place. I just want to fight you collectively as a group. Oh, my God. They all left. Cowards, all of you. That would have been a good battle, you idiots. Ah, whatever. All right, so we're looking at Ballista. That means I'm going to build up trebuchets first. Let's build up a bunch of good trebuchets, and I'm going to fight them. Yep, they're eating my food, as usual. Always eating my food. 1,100 men. You're raiding a village with your army? Ugh, dumb. Very dumb. Anyway, come back. That was way too much damage. I did not like that. Breached walls and artillery, my favorite. All right, let's go in, all of us here. We're all going in right now. I've got my shield. Hopefully, I can make it in without too many issues. We're going to find out. Oh, every time. I used to be able to jump into that. But now they're just causing me issues. Ooh. All right, I'm here. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Too late. Too bad. I've made it. I just need to get through and get away. All right, now that I'm inside, let's go get some kills. Hold on, I want to ride around new location that will belong to me, then we'll only need one more, Provind. Huh. The founding of a true empire of a united people will have conquered everything. My family will be able to finally live with me in peace. No more fighting. I mean, will we practice? Will we train as if there will be a war? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, too high. Sometimes I forget how strong I am. There goes another one. I do love my javelins a lot. They just bring a spark of joy into my life. That does not, however. Appearing freaking units does not bring a spark of joy into my life. Back off. Yeah, you back off too. Holy crap, they just came at me. Uh-uh. How many of you are trying to get away? Foolish. Foolish all of you. Just want to kill so many. All right, we're going back in. We're about to go back in. All right, forget it. Hold on. Just gotta. They're hacking away. I think. Wrong way. My bad. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still getting my kills. At least some of them. My poor blade hitting those walls constantly. Oh, here's a more wide open location. That might be better anyway. Oh, I was too close to them to get a proper hit in. Are you trying to fight me? Oh no, it's just another group of enemies. It doesn't matter if we're on the final battle or the first battle. You never give up. You never stop fighting as hard as you can. 31 kills now. 31 kills. And if they're fleeing, they deserve to die anyway. They deserve a proper execution is what they really deserve. Perfect. That was good. Front gate is open. There's only so many left. I've gotten 34 kills. Aston one kill. Tatik four. Ilmir three. Sir, what? Two or three? Hmm. Too close to me to get a proper hit in. And we have bloodied them all up. Augustus, hold on. I just saw you, kid. There's Lysica, my daughter. She's still fighting hard. <laughs> oh, my children. My dear children. Amazing. All right, let's see here. Augustus, you've done so well, my boy. Now what else do we have? We've got very few left to kill. Yeah, the battle's over. It's over. We've won. Let's have a look at my kids. Augustus, 10 kills. Aurelius, I really need to change up your weapons. Or maybe you were just in a different location, I have no idea, but Augustus was able to kill 10 people. My wife, six people. 
I mean, Augustus is my firstborn. He's really just showing them how to do it. That's my boy! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Another victory for my team. Okay, any Imperials that I could take as a prisoner and subjugate? Chosen Wolf. If I missed any, my bad, but I don't think I did. Yeah, we're fine. Time for me to leave. Give me your loot. I can melt it down later. Many clans like me. Many do like me. Let's go over here real quick. And now, there's only really one more location to conquer. Provind. One more. That's it. After that, we're done. We'll have conquered the entire map. I've got so many children. So many darn children. Let's go over here to kingdoms again. Vlandia. Oh yeah, they've lost a few clans, all right. Many have died. I've had to kill so many. I've wiped out many clans, many mercenary groups. The Embers are unfortunately still alive. Who else? Jawal has only one member left. The Brotherhood has two members left. I forgot to kill them. I forgot. And two over here. Let's see. All right, I've already looked at you. He's all alone, 66 years old. He's got a daughter who is 35. I don't have to kill her. Could kill her. Okay, she's been taken prisoner by Lukend over in autumn of the 21st. Your mother was killed. Huh. <laughs> These wars, man. We've had nothing but a story to tell. Yeah. You dreamt of glorious conquest, huh? In fact, he spent most of his reign simply putting down revolts, quashing pretenders, and keeping the fractious barons in line. When possible, he prefers to rule by arbitration, cajoling his vassals to set aside claims to each other's lands and enjoy what they have, but some Vlandians murmur that a warrior people deserve a more viral king. It's me. I'm it. Ospir is somehow still alive. Lucan, huh? 44 years old. A scarred warrior. Nice mustache. Alright. Let's get ready. I did disband my army, but maybe it's time to rally them back together. If there's only one location to conquer, which is Provend, we're going to need a vast army. It might be time to bring them all in. All of them. Or however many I can pick up. Sure, they might be mad at me whenever I disband it, their own armies, but... I've got a cause here. Gulag, you're done. I'm here to create my own. And I want every one of you to come join me today. We've got only one more battle to fight, and we're going to fight it together. Come on. Every one of you, I don't care how far you are, you'll try to make it in time. I hope you will. I think many of you will, but... Let's see here. You need to patch up Nikasaur. That's unfortunate for you, friend. It's a final battle, you know. Okay. There we are. You know that's going to be a lot. Alright, I've been trying to buy food at local villages. I mean, look at what they have over there in Provind. 1,800 defenders. That means I need a proper army to go fight them. If I don't have one, it'll be a long, protracted battle. Which is what I do not want. Ah! Attila! <laughs> How good! You get to join me now. Okay, let's go over to the tavern. Catilla, come on. You need to join me. Now, I wonder. Do you need new equipment? I gave you a lot. You should be fine, I think. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. I gave you a lot of very good equipment. Look at that. She looks quite elite, huh? <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, the hand armor could be better, though. Here you go. Yeah, looking good. Much better. You've got your, let's see, simple short bow. Maybe I can get you a better bow then. Let's see over here, a noble bow. Oh, that's so much better than what you have. Yeah, take that. I've got the money to buy whatever I want, over eight million dinars. What could I ever want? Okay, it's time to rally up the banners. Hold on, let's go back real quick and try to get more food. There's not a lot of food here, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to ride around and try to visit a few villages and find out if we can get more food. My army is currently at 1,800. 
Yeah, I'm sharing food with all of them because I had a feeling they would like food. Two cheese, you know what? I'm taking it. Very expensive cheese. I could raid a few villages if I needed to do that. Oh my god. I've never had to rally all the banners. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, let's see here. Good, you can join now. I want you to join. I'm just gonna make sure that I've got most of them. I might bypass one. I've got so many lords. Ullman. Yeah, that should be all of them now. Look at that. We've got 3,700 men. 3,700 men. Alright, I'll need to increase my cohesion. That's very much needed. My strength is at 8,500. We still have a few people who are not here yet. Three days to go. Three days for you two. And five hours for you. Alright, I think we're largely ready. Let's go besiege him. I wonder how many are just gonna try to get away. Oh, look at all that power. Oh my god. I am very slow now, which is understandable. 5,300. Look at that army. All of these lords who have come to fight for me in one final battle. Vlandians, you wish you had what we have now. Unification. Power. Loyalty. Might. And some banging grain peasant soup. Alright, let's go. I wish they would all just enter the damn town, because I would like to fight them all here, but if they choose not to do that, that's fine. Look at all of my little tents. Oh, I love it so much. Alright, so what are we going to do? They have Ballista, which means I need to try to fight it out a little bit. It's our final battle. It's our final battle. Let's get ready. I've got so much to do. I kid you not right now. On the day of our final battle, my wife gave birth to a new child. We have another child. Right over here. Okay. That has got to be a good omen. We're going in. One more battle, everyone. One more major battle. Now that is one happy father. Look at him. He's beaming. That's right, buddy. You kill him. You kill all of them. I wanted to bring my family with me, but they were auto assigned to another group, which means for right now, I'm gonna head in on my own. Uh oh, that's a lot of them. I'm jumping over. I'm getting away. I'm trying to. Don't shoot me. Don't do that. It's very rude. All right, I'm gonna park over here. And I'm going to let them fight. I think instead, they should probably get reinforcements to trickle in from the keep. Right now, they spawn in a big blob a little bit behind the gate. Not directly behind, but a little bit further behind from that. Which usually just gets them killed. Like right now, they're outnumbered, but imagine if they tried to rally up all of their men way, way behind towards the keep. And then they could form like a good formation and fight us. Oh, hello. Hey, do you want to fight? Oh, I've been wanting to fight. Okay, here, I'm going to push you. I don't like you that much. Bye. I don't think I killed him. Got a few javelins for you guys. Man, you've got a lot of talented archers here. That's very nice. Hit right from behind. Okay, no one was killed. That's unfortunate. Now, if I jump down, I'll take some damage, but I don't want to wait that long. So I'll take the damage. 29. Damn. Okay. I think it is now time to charge into the main town square. Now, I can't go too close to it because, again, they're going to spawn in a bunch of soldiers much like that. That's a lot of them. Oh, he's dead. That poor militiaman. My soldiers are way too good. It's our final battle, and it feels so good to be here. I had no idea when we would get here, how it would happen. It's been an incredible campaign watching Sola conquer the world. Oh, let me tell you, one day he will return. I wonder if they'll ever do, like, expansions. Where they add in, like, other people, other cultures, other lands. Oh, how cool would that be? Then we come back as Sola, leading some exped like some expeditionary force. That would be amazing. Hey, 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 where are all of you going? You're being cowards. Alright, fine, get out of here then. But not you, though. And not you. Okay, you know what? You probably don't want to be down some type of alleyway with Sola here. It's just a really bad idea. <laughs> the guy just comes at you, cutting down all of your friends by the freaking uh, threes and twos. It's awesome. 
The only thing saving you is really the long pull of my weapon. That's really it. All right, so we're not done yet. Hold on, I've got two javelins left. You'll catch one. And you'll catch one. All right, let's keep on cutting them down. It's my final battle, so I can't let up. It doesn't matter who they are, I've gotta kill them. Especially if you're gonna flee from me. I like how I've got a few boys back here who are like, nope, you're not going anywhere. Like over here, they could form a great type of formation right in here and I would have to grind my way through. I wonder, can I just like run inside? That would be neat. Uh oh, I can't. All right, so we've killed a lot. We have more to kill. I've lost it for 50, which is nothing really. I mean, when you really give it thought, in the grand scope of my wars, how much is like 50 or 80 or 100? It's not a lot, no. Yeah, whenever there's a little hiccup, and that's when they all spawn in, but if they were streaming out, then at least it would be a bit more steady. It wouldn't be constant, you know, with a gigantic spike out of nowhere. Like there went another one. All right, I'm gonna go back to the front, and I will not dare to have unlimited corpses on the battlefield whenever I'm fighting a battle as large as the one that I'm currently fighting. I mean, my kill feed cannot keep up right now. That is insane. Whoa. And I'm not going to miss out on a bunch of kills, so this is what I'm doing right now. Come on, kids. I'm trying to make it to my men. <laughs> it's a lot dead. And we've won. The battle is over. All of you have done an amazing job. Men of the Empire, you may now go home and rest. I will be sure that every veteran has land. Every veteran is well cared for, injured or not. I will use my own personal wealth to ensure that. You will be loyal to the family of Sola. My family will watch over you. You will watch over us. And so we have one. There are very few left. How many kills did I get? 56 kills. My wife got three kills. Augustus, nine kills. That's my firstborn, by the way. Let's see here. Lysica, two kills. Aurelius, two kills. My children killed a lot. <laughs> My firstborn killed the most. Good job, good job, my boy. All right, let's see here. The battle is over, but we do have mercenaries. Ulvard, I've been wanting to kill you for quite some time, you and Ungar. Let's see then. Where is your king at, by the way? I need to know. All right, I've got a few who can be promoted. So you shall be promoted. And I don't want your prisoners. I want none of them. But Provind has fallen. So what are we going to do here now? Provind is mine. I've done it. Every location on the map now belongs to me. All of them. And here's what I can do. Disband my army. Now guess what? There are many lords to track down. There are many lords to hunt down. We won the battle. Even though a major conflict was won, we still need to find a king. I'm going to find him. I can't permit him to stay. But Provin is now mine. We have done it, my friends. We have done it. Do they have any food? No, they have nothing. They had nothing at all. You know what? Here's a few goods for you. Pay me. That is a lot of money. Though the siege battle of Provin ended the entire war, there were still those loyal to Vlandia, and I'll show you what happens to all of them. Here you go. It doesn't really take me long for me to explain what happens to any enemy of mine. They did not give up. Even the only family member of their king is in here. I won't kill you. That would be wrong. I've already won. Your father is a madman now, wandering the roads, doing whatever he's able to do to survive, I'm sure. He's a beast. More animal than man. Whereas now, I get to spend time with my wife and my children. The Mad King of the Vlandians, who was left without a home, family, or people, was butchered by sea raiders. He died penniless and alone. The name of the Solo was known throughout the land. From humble freeman to mercenary, from mercenary to senator, from senator to king, and from king to emperor. His enemies knew his wrath well. His subjects loved him, and his vassals revered him. Peace finally came to the land of Calradium, 
now known as the Solon Empire. Ragnar Bloodaxe became the leader of the Emperor's Praetorian Guard, known to the heirs of the Empire as their grumpy Uncle Ragnar. Fionara would go on to become a renowned surgeon and partner to Ragnar. Where he could cut, she would mend. No one could heal better than her hands. She had experience, though her bedside manner was often lacking. Aston Frostbeard would return home to Stergia, becoming a prince in his own right. He would often visit Sola, giving him counsel and advice. Agna Willowbark joined Aston, and together they would have many powerful sons. Some would apply behind his back that she was a true terror in that homestead. Ilmir Bloodaxe decided to become a bounty hunter and had spent most of his time in the woods of Stergia and Batania, recruiting locals and hunting down brigands. Tatik the Lucky became a mercenary captain known for his death-defying maneuvers and would ride off to unknown lands. Ayam and Sor, they would go back home to the lands of the Azurai, becoming leaders among their people, renowned for their oratory and diplomatic skills. Finally, Katil the Black, she would be known as the Merchant Queen, a devious enterprising woman that controlled much of the trade that went over land. She founded the Black Heart Trading Company. As for the children of Sola, they would become writers, warriors, poets, architects, and generals worthy of the family name. They had seen war from a very early age and knew better than to embrace it. War was a means for peace to come about. Now it is finally time for Justinian Belisarius Sola to rest. For tomorrow, new challenges await. For one last time, Ave Sola.